Hey guys, it's Caroline. Thank you for stopping by for my cross-stitching update for the middle of April 2024. I hope that everybody has had a great early spring. I know that mine has been incredibly busy and unfortunately that has not meant a lot of cross-stitching. For spring break, we traveled this year. We never travel, so this is like actually a big deal in and of itself, but two trips and in a span of nine days, 40 hours in a car. It was 100% worth it. It was fantastic. It was really great getting to see family. And we got to go see a solar eclipse and saw totality sitting in my father-in-law's backyard. Like, yeah, it was a pretty awesome spring break time frame. But that has meant I just have not had the time to cross stitch like I intended. It's really hard to do. Sitting in a car, I stitched two-handed and there's five of us jammed in a five passenger car. And yes, I did take the middle back row for a good chunk of it because I really, I, the kids have started complaining. Mine are all old enough that it's no longer comfortable sitting in the back. It's, it's a bench, it's wide enough. Uh, we've had this car since before my daughter was born and I rode that middle back for a trip to go see my grandmother with my daughter and my nephew, both under the age of six months. Like, so cram between two car seats. I've been back there. It's not the most comfortable, but it's totally doable. I mean, I did it for, it was nine hours in the car that day. Um, but they were kind of getting to the stage. Don't touch me. There's room to not touch each other, but you know, neither here nor there. Point being, that was a lot of time that I was stuck staring at highway signs and brake lights and not a lot of time that got done over cross stitching and that has kind of consumed a lot of my last two weeks. But I did get some done, so I'm happy with that. Just gonna jump in with the whips. First up is going to be heartstring samplers. Consider the lilies. Here's where it was last time. And this is today. I actually finished one little itty bitty motif, this one, it's tiny. Been working on filling out some more of this tree so this is the top of the tree, as you can see it's rounded. So pretty much just gonna have to duplicate this side over here and put in this angel. The angel's not quite complete. It's not, the contrast here is not very high, but this wing is not done, but you can see a little bit. It's, the colors are great. They don't really pop all that strongly against my fabric. This is a 28 count winter brew from r, &R Reproductions. It is the called for fabric. I'm stitching this two over two because I prefer the coverage of two over two on the 28 count. It calls for one over two, but I apparently just want to spend even more money on fancy floss. So there you go. I am using all the called for flosses. This is a fun project. It's huge. This fabric, is enormous as you can see I just I'm working here in the center everything still fits within the diameter of my 12 inch hoop but not for much longer next up is a small dimensions needlepoint kit this is butterfly on zinnia and here's where it was last time and this is my progress I'm pretty happy with what I've managed to do I have pink put in here so it's almost totally complete until Total complete is up here, but almost total complete is like down here. I have a little bit of this petal to finish filling in and obviously I'm gonna say complete. The back stitching is getting all done at the end. There is a significant amount of it to really make all of these flower petals pop from each other, but this is, I picked it up. This is one day's worth of work. It's so fast. I mean, the whole thing, it's only a five by five piece. And if I would just sit down and like, get it done. I'm pretty sure I can knock it out in the span of a week. I'm just, I'm struggling to focus on like everything, but that's okay. It's really cute. This was a nice change of pace when I just didn't really feel like counting. So it's been a blast. One of my smaller projects, Long Dog Samplers, Make the Miller. And this is my current spot. I'm right around 25% done and I'm starting to burn out on this one a little bit. I don't know if it's just because it doesn't have a lot of colors. It's so cool looking, like I love, finally started dog number three. 
So he's gonna be facing the same way as this one. It's really cute. I love everything about it. I think it's just one of those that every time I sit down and say, this isn't big, I can really like push at it and get it like good progress. It doesn't talk to me. I mean, I, again, that's the funny part. When I'm actually stitching on it, I enjoy stitching on it. It's, and it's two over two, 36 count. So it's not like that it's an arduous stitch. Like sometimes like on the 40 count, um, I can get just burnt out like trying to see things or the magnification. This one's easier. So it's not that, I don't know if it's just like, okay, it's fun, but I do like more colors. I didn't really realize that. And because I have some of the samplers that are more monochromatic, I thought, oh, okay, but those are colors. This one is really not. It's a gray fabric with black and white thread on it. I do love it, but for example, this dog, this dog is an exact duplicate of this dog fundamentally in shape, and this one is just a mirror of this. So by the time I'm done, I'm basically gonna have done this same dog shape eight times, <laughs> which, isn't bad. I mean, it, you can see this is the halfway point as far as height of the project. I mean, it's not big, it's not big at all. Um, it's just that it does have a certain amount of repetitiveness to it, which there's some days when that's really soothing. But for me right now, it's just not really hitting my stitching desires. It's okay. I mean, like I said, any little progress is good. Like I said, I'm at the 25% point. It is fun, and I think this is one, it doesn't, it's the kind of thing where I need to have a little bit of time. It's not good for just picking up, doing a couple stitches, putting down. There's some projects that were great for that. This one hasn't been it for me, but if I can find myself a couple hours, I do feel like I knock out a good amount. Next is my current Focus on a Finish piece. This is a Design Works kit called Start Doing, and here's what it was last time. And here it is. Um, I, okay, first of all, I do not love leaving floss hanging because it gets gross, but this is the color that's only slightly darker than what's in here. And I'm basically just waiting until I finish filling in the rest of the arrow with a slightly lighter color so I can basically take this around and finish. Um, I need to do the back stitching up here and there's like one more spot of yellow. I just didn't want to start the yellow because the yellow gets done down here for the word doing. So um, this one is actually almost done. I really hope to knock this out before my next video. Fingers crossed and that everything goes well. And of course, by me saying this, I may have set myself up for total failure, but you know, that's how it goes some days. I just, like I said, I would really, really love to have this one complete. By the end of this month, I will have touched every single one of my whips that I currently have. So the first one I haven't done in a while, this is a Basilla kit called Summer Symphony. And I started this one about two years ago. And now I'm kind of like, oh, why have I not gotten further on it? That's like a common refrain. If you watch my videos, I keep doing the, oh, I love this project. Why haven't I done more on it? Oh, I love this project. Why can't I spend more time on it? I don't know if it's just because everything is in bloom here. My azaleas are, and so then it, I'm kind of, I'm just feeling it. So here's what it was last time. Haven't put a ton into this yet, but that's the upper right corner. So I'm really happy that I got up here. The green right here, there is some trees that really like are the top, like they're in the, your view, it, it makes sense. Filled in some more down here. And then actually it was kind of nice coming back and with the green filling in this window. Again, it hasn't seen a huge amount of time yet, but it has seen some and I just, when I pick it up, I love it. I love how fast it stitches up quickly because it's well thought out. Like in each of these areas, there's actually only like this, there's like maybe five colors that you're working with in here. There's like six over here. They're not necessarily du duplicate between the areas, but it means it's like you're picking parts. You're not doing a ton of color changes and you have decent blocks of color to work with, but I like the effect. I don't know, it's just, this one has been a lot of fun and I'm kind of hoping to spend more time on it. Again, 
I already just said this, but I love all my projects. I love them all so much, which is why I started them, but I am right now feeling the call towards finishing things. I know I've talked about how I want to have a couple like new starts that I want to do, and guess what I have not done? I haven't done any new starts because I really do enjoy spending the times with the whips I already have. So and I just, it would be really like awesome to, you know, I don't know, make some really good solid progress with this in the spring, summer, because I don't know, it's maybe it's just the, with everything, everything's green, all, like I said, all the flowers. So I'm kind of feeling all the colors. And I think that's the thing. I really am feeling like I want to do some bright projects right now and not everything I have has a ton of colors. So let me see. Oh, I have this one. It's in the pile to pull from for the rest of the month. So hopefully you'll see this again next video. Next up is one you've seen kind of recently. This is Mirabilly Designs, The Stargazer. Here it was last time. And this is my progress. So as you can see, more beading has happened. I decided to learn from working on Autumn Queen to know this piece has an insane amount of beads. So I know that last time I had it out, I said, hey, this would be a nice and easy Mirabilia if you've never done one before. That is in fact true. The stitching is in fact quite easy. The beading is not difficult. There's not a ton of different colors in it. It's just there is an extensive amount of it. So I have heard that you can get there is conversions in Mill Hill. These I'm just using the called for Mill Hill beads to DMC. I've never looked it up, so I'm just reporting this, what I've seen from other floss tubers. But if you're the type who are like, yeah, I don't know if I really want to deal with beading, maybe consider just using floss. I love the effect of beading. I do not particularly enjoy the act of beading. But the nice part is it really does bring a lot as far as visual oomph. So the thing I do feel a little bad about, there is a metallic, like pinkish tone bead there. It does not stand out great at certain angles if you look at it like head on. And so I don't know how well it's translating for the camera. I, I mean, I can turn this and see if any of it really pops for you. No idea. Um, I can't, there's no way for me to know sitting here, but I will tell you that at the right angle in person, it is just bing. Um, I, so I do love the metallic. I love how these beads are really, before it only had like four of the bigger beads and this one was like super loose. Finally fixed it so it's not flopping every time I pull this out. And like this entire like back, this beading, all of this is complete. I mean, there's more down here, but it is, I will say this, absolutely gorgeous. I may not love beading, but wow, do I love how it looks. I love the swirls. I mean, that's the thing. This is very, and it's more swirls over here. And so I think for right now, I'm actually gonna concentrating on filling in up here just because it would really, I don't know, I think balance the piece because the front of her dress here, this like most of the rest of the stitching is back here. So that makes it look almost, I'm gonna say not centered. It is centered on the fabric, but there is a lot that's going up here, but because I haven't put it in yet, it's not there, but I love this piece is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm remembering why I so desperately wanted to start this. It's been a blast. Um, highly recommend. Like I said, it's really, really pretty. And it's, as you can see, I mean, the actual stitching is not as extensive as some of the other pieces I have going on. And I was actually really happy to figure out that I am 22% done on it. Um, that feels really good. So, I don't know. See, maybe I'll get some more good progress on this one this year. And the last project for me to share with you for this update is Mirabilla Designs Winter Queen. Um, here's what was last time. This is where I'm at now. I mentioned earlier when I was speaking about Mick the Miller about how I needed like more colors and for Summer Symphony I said, hey, I really enjoy all these colors. So this project 
has fantastic colors in it. We have these beautiful blues, the purples associated with the flower petals, her blonde hair. The problem is right here, everything I'm stitching is white. Right here, everything I'm stitching is white. White, white. There is, I think, some 762 that I'm supposed to like that's right near here. Point is, right now, even though this project has beautiful colors in it, I'm not getting to stitch on them. And it's not a problem, it's just I'm tired of white floss on white linen. I know it's gonna look fantastic. I'm also well aware that this is the big section that has all the white. Down here is gonna be all the blues again, and I'm gonna to be totally tired of those later on. But for right now, I just wanna stitch on the colors and it's they're kind of not there. There are some greens that go in up here. I honestly just need to like do them. Maybe it would provide a little bit of a change of pace. So I'd be like, oh yeah. The other problem is I'm not goal stitching this here. It didn't work out for me last year. I don't feel the need to force myself into goals, but I am feeling a call to really like push on this one because I would like to get it framed as well as all my other seasonal queens. And here I am mired in my least favorite floss color. And it's mostly because I really worry about getting it dirty. I've had that happen before where I've used with what I thought were clean hands and then just something like discolors and then it doesn't come clean. You have to pull it out and restitch. I mean, I do think there's a spot here. We'll see if it comes out when I actually wash this. I don't know, fingers crossed because I don't want to have to restitch it. I mean, I will if I have to, I just don't want to, but this is, I mean, she's looking fantastic. I love how she's going on. This is, I believe, about as far over as the piece goes on this side. It goes a little bit further over on this side. So it's, I mean, it's coming along really nicely. I am, I am also looking and realizing, hey, there's a ton of beading up here. So part of this, if I get really too stuck down here, it's, I'm kind of trying to push myself through a little bit of this white floss. And then I'm kind of telling myself I can come up and do her crown and like finish the top because I really I have figured out I do enjoy the idea of a top down it just it feels good it makes sense to me so I don't know maybe that's my like going forward um, I figure you'll probably see this one in decent rotation really until it's done again I'm not goal stitching I don't do well with it but every time I pick this one up I feel good working on it so I think part of it is I should just listen to my feelings and say, okay, well then that'd be great. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's coming along. Uh, I guess I should say, so there is some progress. It just doesn't look like a lot because it, most of it's white. I did white over here, white through here. Um, like I said, did a, finished in some more of the blues here for this is the skirt. You'll see it again next update. So hopefully I'll have more. Thank you guys for having stopped by. I sorry that i am right now just not doing the stitching updates as frequently as i actually want to do them it's this it's life i'm not even going to apologize for it because that's how it goes but i will say that the schedule for the next couple months actually evens out a lot so i expect to actually see a fair amount of progress on my cross stitching. I've been doing a lot of knitting. So if you're interested in that watch, I should have a new uh, knitting vlog posted in the next couple weeks. That's the other thing is that I haven't been cross stitching as much as I should because um, knitting, because I have a summer cardigan that is almost done. It's in that place where you're like, if I could just, the end is in sight. The cross stitching, I mean, all crafting has that. Part. So I'm at that kind of point. So. Either way, like get that knocked out and then really work on some of this cross stitching. I'm so close to, you know, at least one finish. And I will say that when I finish things, it motivates me. So gonna keep pushing at it. Anyway, um, if you like my content and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye.